Isn't this ridiculous? On one hand, we have a booming economy, the Trump economy, a best-in-years holiday shopping season, prosperity. But in Congress, the Democrats are trying to remove Trump from office. Impeachment returns this week. Oh, what a contrast. Your money is doing just fine, but Congress is a mess and doing nothing. Look at what's happening just this week. Today is Cyber Monday, and just about everybody's predicting a new online selling record. The weather is on Amazon's side, you know. We've already seen blowout consumer spending over Thanksgiving, and this Friday, this coming Friday, we'll hear more about strong job creation and record low unemployment. Check your 401k and see if you really want to throw this president out of office. That's what the Democrats are trying to do. On Wednesday, they've lined up legal experts to testify for hour after hour about what charge they can use to get Trump out. Lawyers trying to convince us to overturn the 2016 election. My prediction? The Trump-hating media will be all over these hearings, but America will ignore them, and so will investors. It's no accident that the market hits record highs as impeachment rolls forward. It's not going to get him out of office. It's just a sliming operation. And just as the Democrats try to bring him down, President Trump will be striding across the world stage celebrating the 70th anniversary of NATO in London. Again, what a contrast. The president dominates a meeting of world leaders. The Democrats bring in the lawyers. I guess we should be happy. Prosperity is a wonderful thing. But this vengeful hounding of the president leaves a bad taste in your mouth. It does me.